Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Yes, it's time for another survey ship kit review. Now, the survey ship kits were released, and a lot of people said, ooh, take my money. But this survey ship kit does serve no in-game purpose other than cosmetics. It's available for the Cobra Mark III, the Diamondback Explorer, Asp Explorer, Python, Imperial Cutter, Corvette, and the Anaconda. Well, by now you would have seen my reviews on the Anaconda and on the Python. Now it's time for your friend and mine, and I say that tongue in cheek, the Asp Explorer. This is the Asp Explorer Survey Ship Kit DLC review. Ah, the Asp Explorer. Even though it has the name Explorer in its name, it does surpass even the Type 6 transporter for its carrying capacity, and is turning out to be quite a popular multi-superiority ship for the up-and-coming commander, though it does resemble a flying dinner plate. With this in mind, the DBX Explorer seems to be the exploration ship of choice, with a lot of people ditching the Asp Explorer for the DBX, though that's the term of another review. In regards to this review, let's take about what we're going to discuss in this video. What's it going to cost you? What you're going to get? What's it look like? And can you mix and match? So what you get? Well, you get six paint jobs. And on top of those six paint jobs that are attached to the survey ship kit, you also get three pieces of ship kit. So far with the survey ship kit, you don't get anything in regards to the tail section on the ships, not on the Anaconda not on the Asp Explorer, nor on the Python. What you do get is something for the bumper on the wings, and of course you get that quintessential spinning dish that everybody just said, take my money for. So here we have the Asp Explorer in its standard colors, its standard configuration, and we're gonna bolt some stuff on it. So what's it gonna cost us? Well, 13,520 arcs, which at the moment of this video, kind of equates to about £7.99-ish, circa that, because if you buy a certain pack, you get some free arcs, that sort of thing. Anyway, it's about £7.99, £6.99, something like that, and everyone was thrilled by the fact that you actually had an animated ship kit, other than just something that was bolted on. However, when I say animated, it is only really the dish that spins round at the moment. Whether that will be fixed later on by the Frontier Developments Art Department, I don't know. Some of the things that resemble spotlights are just coloured spotlight on colour. Um, we don't really know if that's going to be addressed or if in fact that's what it really is. So like I mentioned, there's nothing to bolt on the back of your ship. It's about the front, it's about the wings that sort of thing. The bumper. What do I think about it? Well, I do like the Asp Explorer, right? What do I think about this kit? I think it's quite good. From what I've seen so far, every radar dish is slightly different, and this one is of no exception. I do think it's great. I think the best thing, however, is that when you start mix and matching. So here you see the apps, Asp Explorer. What does it look like? Um, we've bolted all the survey ship kit stuff on it. This is the standard Asp Explorer color, right? What you get when you buy the ship. It doesn't look bad. Again, you've got like those sensor nodes, like the Jafar staff, like what you get from Stargate. That's what it reminds me of at the front of the ship. Uh, you get two of those. You get these hexagonal sort of panels, sort of solar panel sort of things. Again, all these things are cosmetic. They don't give you any in-game advantage. And again, right on the top, just behind what looks like to be my point defense or Xeno scanner or whatever it is, that utility port, you get two other what we'll say is sensor nodes protruding out the front of the ship. So at the front of the ship so far, nothing interferes with anything else. So the dish, the radar dish, this is what we're talking about. Now look at that, oblong. Oblong is what it is, or rectangular, uh, as opposed to what we've seen in the past, which has been ovals and circles. A little bit of reflectiveness right in the middle of the spinning radar dish. That does a good little bit of reflection. Reflections as well along the supporting beams. 
And let's face it, this is kind of what everybody wanted. Let's not beat about the bush. If you put that on, I think you'd all be happy. Um, so yeah, there you go. Not bad. Not so bad. Moving around towards the rear of the ship. Um, not very busy. Again, we've got that same sort of sensor port we've got on the front is then replicate as you go towards the back of the ship. They're okay. I'm not particularly fussed on them. I think perhaps something else could have been done around those. Who knows? On the opposite side of the radar dish, you've got this. Don't know what that is, but it's there. Uh, and then towards the rear, you've got again more sensor. Sensor Jafar Stargate poles bolted on the side with what looks like to be spotlights. Now, they're not. That's the thing. That's the only thing. You've also got these drum shaped canisters stuck on the back as well. Now, okay, great, brilliant. Again, all you really wanted it for was that spinning dish. And I think some of the other parts uh, are a bit samey, a little bit weak, perhaps, if, if I'm going to be overly critical. But you know, there's good reflections on those circular discs at the back on the tail fins. It's quite a nice little effect there as well. What exactly they are, we don't know. And like I said on my Anaconda ship kit review, it would have been nice if it was actually a little bit of lore was attached to each part. You know, even though it doesn't do anything, well, this is a sensor array for the survey ship kit, and then you would know what it is. However, all in all, it doesn't look too bad. I think it looks quite nice. Not overly busy. I think it is a good addition to the Asp Explorer. So let's talk about the paint jobs you get with the survey ship kit for the Asp Explorer. You get six of them. Oh yes. Um, I got quite a few paint jobs for mine. Look at that. Starting off, you get the boron one, just like a sort of a mint green. I quite like that, to be honest, on this ship. Some ships, not so much. The mint green on this little ship, not bad. Then you get radium. Again, very pink. Then you've got indium, which is that sort of like sky blue should we call it sky blue then moving on to copper you've got that sort of anodized sort of look and then sodium which is yellow not a fan of this and then titanium which is kind of very light gray and white it's all very sort of i would say monochromatic what you get with the um solar panels that are also attached all around the ship i quite like the blue and um, possibly the green i think we'll go with the blue uh, which I thought was all right. Scrolling through some of the other paint jobs I've got as well, you get a good idea of how the ship kit is going to blend in with other paint jobs that you may have, or maybe even thinking on buying from the store. I think with the Halloween ones, the dish does obscure uh, the jack-o'-lantern mouth. Um, I think the hazard ones do look quite nice as well. Again, that is a completely different ship kit, and that is going to cost you another chunk of arcs as well. Though I do think if you have both the hazard ship kit and this survey ship kit, you're going to get the best of both worlds, I think. Anyway, moving on. So what's it look like then in a survey color? The blue color, right? Look at that. I think it looks all right. It accentuates the added on ship kit pieces. You can tell what's been added on. They're not just like all blended into a particular base color. So I think you can tell that that's been bolted onto that ship. And I think it does work. I think does, it does work well. Let me know in the comments, if you're still with me, what you think about it. I think, yeah, it looks all right. Especially a good color as well for people who stream simply because, well, you can be able to see the ship and its details. I have said it before and I will say it again, you are going to get the best results by mixing different paint jobs and ship kits. Here I've got a mixture of the hazard ship kit and survey ship kit. The disc, obviously from the spinning radar from the survey ship kit, and then the front and the rear I've got from the hazard ship kit. That's got its animated because you turn the lights on and they illuminate and you turn them off and they de-illuminate spotlights. And that spotlight array is something that I've always been a great advocate for. This is a hazard paint job as well. I think it, it looks quite nice. I think don't think things blend too much into the into the structure of the ship. 
What do you think? I think perhaps, yeah, it looks okay. I'd have to change the writing and all the rest of it and, and uh, the identification numbers to a different color, but pretty good. Change this now up to a shiny color, and here's my shiniest one that I've potentially got, which is the gold on the Asp Explorer. And you can see, yeah, it kind of all blends in, but it's got more sparkles and reflections than Liberace's toilet. Let's face it, I mean, that is, that is something gold-plated. Doesn't look too bad, though, and I think the ship kit does... It, it does add an extra je ne sais quoi, should we say, if we're going to get all French, to this to this particular ship. Love it or hate it, that's the Asp Explorer and the Asp Explorer Survey Ship Kit and my thoughts in the form of a review. You get six paint jobs and you get three pieces of Survey Ship Kit and that rotating dish. Like and subscribe. See you soon in the next video.